Hey, hey Taurus, intuitive soul coach here with your June 2023 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Taurus, you have here the ornaments card showing up in the recent past. So this is about finding ways to bring in extra money. It is about mature investments. There may have been a recent celebration as well or a win. Now, some of you Taurians, you may have a career in retail, beauty, finish work, or you're setting yourself up for retirement by making some decisions that are going to affect you not just now but in the future as well. I am sensing new strategies, new ideas, and implementing new plans into your world that are going to help you create extra money. You may even see this happen by December of 2023. Now, some of you are saying, whoa, Melissa, I don't want to wait until December to start to see this extra money. Now, this could also be something that you have done in December of 2023. Two, that you're starting to finally see come to fruition, but I'm also getting another increase around that December of 2023 as well. Because in the present energy, you have the cutlery. And I really like this card because it does say that you are working with the tools that you have available. However, what piece of silverware is the one missing? It's the spoon. And as I always say, when this card shows up, it's hard to eat a, a bowl of soup with a fork, right? You need that spoon. So what you're doing now, Taurus, is you're searching for that additional resource. What else can help you live your best life? What else can help you bring in more money? Now, you may be in in the food industry, you may be the sole provider, or you're just looking for additional resources or abundance that can help you move forward and generate that wealth. I'm getting here regenerative income, which has come up in the past as well. So you may be doing something with investments, or you may be in a career position that is going to take you into retirement as well. Because in your future position, you have the treasure showing up. And this is what I mean by that December of 2023. Now, it doesn't mean that you're not going to bring in money, between now and then, I absolutely sense that there will be, but I, there's a goal that you're working towards at this time. And you're going to see by the end of the year that all your hard work is paying off. Now, it's about worry-free finances. Some of you may even be deciding to retire as well. Please take that as it resonates. You may decide in December that you finally hit a milestone or a goal and you want to retire next year. This is about money in reserve. You may have excess at that time. I also sense that there could be a debt being paid off by December of 2023, something large, and it's gonna free you up to have a lot more money as well. Now, even though this is a June 2023 reading, I feel positive as far as you bringing in the right people. This is about the right people aligning with your energy to help you grow and succeed in all areas of your career. So this could also be you know, a financial advisor, it could be someone giving you great advice, it could be you doing the research, uh, maybe listening to podcasts, watching videos about how to increase wealth, how to grow your business. Some of you may even be teaching these things and connecting and partnering up with the right clients. But this is all about having more than enough. You may have a career as an executive, as a CEO, an assistant. I'm getting here, you are in the, the line of work of maybe sales, planning, or you're discovering your hidden talents. And that may be what 2023 is all about. It's things coming to fruition and you're realizing that you really have a knack for something and you can make a lot of money doing it as well. So you may be learning how to, okay, how to, I'm getting this energy of antiques, antiquing as well. Some of you may flip items that may be worth a lot more than maybe someone realizes. I'm sensing as well, there could be maybe a, 
Uh, it could be a gold coin. It could be uh, it could be something that you have, whether it's real estate, coins, whatever it may be here for you, that you don't realize the value or the worth. I mean, that could also be what I'm seeing here is your skills and your talents uh, are really shining and highlighting in the month of June. And you, you may not see how valuable and how amazing uh, this gift or skill is, but it can actually bring you in a lot of money as well. That's what I feel. So let's dive into your reading here. Now I'm getting that sunshine energy for you. So it wouldn't surprise me to see the sun coming up. I would love to see the sun. I haven't seen that for, for some time now, or even the wheel of fortune, because things are starting to pay off for you in a big way. And I do feel that hierophant as well, because you're taking a look at your traditions, your beliefs, your relationship around money, and you're taking a look at what's working and what's not. What can you upgrade in your life? How can you move forward? Now, some of you may be taking some technological advantage advances to the next level. So I know we're hearing a lot of about AI and things like that. And some people are fearful to move into that energy because it can be, you know, it can be stressful not knowing what's to come and not knowing how things are going to uh, work out for us. But I sense here, Taurus, for you, you may be taking a step forward into uh, technological advancements or using something to your favor. It doesn't have to be AI, of course, but it can be, you know, I, partnering up with someone who knows a little bit more or partnering up with the right people who can be put in the right seats to help you grow. Let's see what the heart of the matter is. What's the main energy for you? Wish fulfillment. I mean, this is powerful. I love this energy coming in here. So this can be about a new job or a promotion. Uh, this can be a, a new position as well when it comes to money, but there's definitely a reward coming in. This is something you've been wanting for quite some time. And you have the ornaments combined with the treasury. This is that spoon. This is what you've been missing here. So I love that the nine of cups is showing up as your main card here because you've been wanting this new energy to show up in your world for quite some time, Taurus. And I feel like you've worked really hard at it as well. So let's take a look and clarify the Nine of Cups showing up for you. All right, Eight of Materials. There it is. You putting your hard work into it, mastering your craft, right? When the Eight of Materials, which is the Eight of Pentacles, shows up, you've been really putting a lot of dedication, a lot of um, knowledge, a lot of, of your craft, you know, to the forefront and it's paying off in a big way. And if you felt inexperienced or if you still have little bits and pieces that you're trying to put together, you know, put the pieces of the puzzle together, here it is. You have all of the tools finally in place to make this magic happen for you. So pat yourself on the back. Job well done here, Taurus. Keep on going because you're heading closer and closer to that nine and ten of pentacles if that is what you seek here. But this is very fortuitous for those that are in the education, art, design, healing. I mean, it can be any line of work, of course, but I, I certainly sense that a lot of you are, are throwing many things up in the air, but you're able to juggle them all. You're able to keep it flowing. And for many of you, you have more than one source of income or you're finding ways ways to bring in more than one source of income that can sustain you. Because sometimes this career over here or this, uh, you know, this business may have a slow period and then this one over here may pick up or this could be money that you have coming in. I'm also getting someone maybe getting a grant or getting some sort of a scholarship, an award, or it could be that promotion that this nine of cups is bringing in. But there is some sort of additional money and you have extra money showing up here as well. So really wonderful. Beautiful clarifier. Now let's take a look at the challenge. What's the challenge for you in the month of June and how can we help you navigate forward through the challenge? What do you need to know? Seven of Wands. Uh, this is about you holding your ground. This is about you being diligent in your work. So the Seven of Wands, at times the challenge can be uh, 
th being thrown off guard, right? It can be easily offended at times when we don't necessarily see it coming at us. But the seven of wands, I feel for you, Taurus, is about defending yourself, defending your beliefs. And I was picking up on that Hierophant energy as well. So you have some really wonderful ideas. Don't let other people's big egos or other people come in and rain on your parade. That can be a challenge at times, especially when you're successful or you have it going on for you or finally you have a win. Don't let a family member, a coworker, or even a boss come in at times and feel... Uh, make you feel less than you are, right? This is about you holding your ground. You have what it takes to succeed here. You can see that she's holding that wand. And even though there's these other wands coming in at her, she knows that she can be successful and she is successful here. I also sense that you have the upper hand, finally is what I'm hearing, because you may have felt the pressure coming in from all angles. You may have felt like you were walking on eggshells or you felt constantly on guard. And I do see here that you're letting this down. You're letting the wall down because there's something that you've been working hard and you're just moving in this new direction. And that's going to help you overcome this as a challenge because you're saying, you know, I don't need to go in the past energy. I don't need to let that person affect me. I can choose to stay in my happiness and my optimism and my bliss. If they want to be a Debbie Downer, let them, but I'm going to move forward here and I'm going to stand in my power and I'm going to keep my power going strong regardless of any challenges that show up around me. So I'll be curious to see what shows up in your environment. So we'll take a look and see what shows up when we get there. Let's take a look and clarify the Seven of Wands, please, for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? The death card, beautiful. This death card is all about transformation and you most certainly are transfer, transforming. I'm getting here the word uh, reinvent. So you may be reinventing yourself or reinventing your image, your reputation. It's You've come a long way here and you're finally getting this wish that you've wanted for quite some time. Maybe you wanted to go back to school and you know wrap up some courses. I also sense that some of you, you may have had to step out from learning or uh, manifesting those dreams or reaching a dream because sometimes life happens whether maybe you had children and you or you had to take care of a loved one or maybe someone had to move or for whatever reason but now you're back on track and your dreams are are coming in quick and you finally feel like you're hitting that point of reinvention but it's important for you to let go of a situation of the past instead of resisting or instead of coming up against some sort of resistance and let the death just make its way towards a brand new beginning. It's time to spread your wings, Taurus, is what I just heard. Time to spread your wings. So let's take a look at what's going on in the deep, deep past and how it may have been affecting your present. What's going on in the past energy? What's below you? What are you built upon? Okay, there was definitely a, either a loss of trust with the Three of Swords here. There could have been a loss of a job, major disappointment. Maybe you were in an unhappy position. For a lot of you, you were. You were working for someone who maybe belittled you, admonished you, or berated you, right? You didn't feel respected. You didn't feel like you were making a difference. It may have been just a paycheck. For others of you, there was a setback when it came to your career, your finances. But this is about uh, a quarrel that you can resolve moving forward here. So either you are completely out of this position, and I feel like that's why you have the transition card showing up, because you went from reinventing yourself because of something that was so disappointing or negative or challenging to finally on the up and out here, and finally having that spoon to be able to have the resources you need to move forward into this treasure chest here. So really powerful reading here. There was some sort of betrayal, I feel. Someone may have told you that they were going to give you a raise or you may have thought it was the perfect position or opportunity. Uh, this has happened to me many, many years ago. When I worked in the corporate world, there was a, a job position that it looked 
like it was the perfect and it even felt good. It felt like it aligned with my energy. I mean, you walked in, there were vision boards and I had, you know, an office and all of these wonderful things and the people were just magnificent. However, the job position itself was nothing uh, as I had thought and dreamed it would be, even though it kind of painted a pretty bow around it. And it ended up actually... It, it did not work out, but it, I saw the silver lining. It was the best thing that could have happened to me was that job. And sometimes we don't realize that when we're stuck in the moment, but you may be finally coming to the terms of, wow, that had to, to happen in order for me to be where I'm at now. So I feel like this is what's going on for you in the month of June, even though the Three of Swords, this is in the deep, deep past. You've had to reinvent yourself in order for you to grow and evolve and appreciate yourself on a deeper, wider uh, spectrum here. So what's happened here in the past? You have the Four of Wands. So Four of Wands is about bringing in more stability, more success, and more harmony after a time of quarrel, conflict, and things not turning out the way that you thought. Just like that position wasn't exactly what I thought it would be. It, it was actually nothing the way that I thought it would be but it was the best thing for me at that time. And when this four of wands shows up, this could be plans didn't go as expected, okay? But I do feel here that there's a major milestone or a celebration that you are heading towards if you haven't already, Taurus. So really powerful. Uh, this is a big yes card as well. Aligning with the right people that are going to help you feel content, feel comfortable. Uh, there could even have been a move or a relocation to maybe work elsewhere, work for someone else. Let's take a look at this Four of Wands showing up here and clarify. What's the Four of Wands here for Taurus, please? Okay, they're giving me the name here. It could be Christiane or Christian, Christian or Christiane. Please take that as it resonates. It could be your name, a person that you work with. Maybe it's Chris Ann. I know Chris Ann is actually the, uh, the, publisher or the author here of the Light Sears and the Muse Tarot, Chris Ann, but they're giving me those names together. So please take it as it resonates. Now we have justice in reverse, inequality, something Something happened that was unfair, and I also sense, I mean, this is pretty deep, but there could have been some sort of harassment at the workplace. It could have been due to race. It could have been due to ageism, sexism, anything of that nature as well. Some of you may have worked in the justice field, or there could have been a major legality, a judgment as well. When the justice shows up, this is about truth. It's about fairness and karma. So you may have certainly been through a situation that didn't seem fair, but know that everything goes, what goes around comes around here, Taurus. So I feel like good karma is coming in for you, uh, even though there may have been a difficult transition or situation of the past. So I like to see this in the past energy here because we have some great things coming in. So let's take a look at that headspace. What are you focusing on manifesting? What's the potential here? What's the potential for Taurus? All right, there's that Wheel of Fortune. I'm loving it. This is what I was feeling in the beginning of your reading. So the Wheel of Fortune is a turning point. It's uh, putting motion. What's in motion brings success. So finally, things starting to spin in your favor. And this is uh, spinning for the better. Now, it certainly could be, uh, you know, money, money coming in for you, finally being able to bring in more balance. You can see the yin yang energy in the very uh, middle, the peace sign. This is also about improvements when it comes to your financial sector, right? A lot of you have been through the wheel spinning in reverse, you know, not feeling like you were on the road towards success. This is a big why at the top, which is the yes card. And so I feel like you're finally moving forward and whatever you've set in motion in the recent past, you're finally seeing it paying off in a very big way. So what a wonderful card to be in your manifesting energy here. 
let's take a look and clarify the wheel of fortune wheel of fortune is about taking a chance taking a chance on yourself it's about destiny and fate intervening and there's the ace of materials so death oh and we have underneath it the knight of swords so you are moving forward there could be a move there could be a relocation involved as well but the ace of materials is tapping into that unlimited potential which is what you are doing here because this is in the potential position Taurus, when the Ace of Materials shows up, this is the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. You have a new opportunity to, to grow your finances, right? The Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning in the material world. It's good news in your career, in your money, uh, in your wealth, in your success, in your abundance. It could certainly be a, a gift, a bonus, an inheritance, a promotion. You're moving forward in a fast way and things may seem like a big blur for you, especially if you are moving towards, you know, a new career as well. You may have to move and try to get into alignment with getting ready for this next stage, but you'll be able to manifest it all and do it well. I'm getting okay. So a lot of positive movement here showing up for you. Make sure you ask for help. That can be a challenge with the seven of wands. The seven of wands feels like they may have to do everything on their own sometimes. So the struggle and the challenge for you can say, hey, yeah, I need to hire a moving company. Or can you watch the kids while I work on, you know, this paper or work on launching this product or this website? Or can you uh, even ask a coworker, hey, can you cover for me this day while I go to this, you know, interview or whatever this may be for you? So asking for help is going to help you in the month of June. So powerful. Hold your ground. Stay diligent in your efforts because big changes are coming in. You have this wheel of fortune spinning in your favor. Let's see what's showing up in the near future. What do we have here for Taurus in the near future? Someone may also be looking at a new vehicle. I'm getting new vehicle here, whether it's a company vehicle or it is, uh, you know, a home vehicle. We're going to take a look. Let's see what we have here. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So in the near future, there's the two of cups. When it comes to money, this is about financial partnerships. It is about inspiration, feeling inspired to move towards a positive new connection, a new partnership, a new business contract, uh, a new company. This could be new ideas, new clients as well. I feel like you are finally on that path of success here and they're cheersing, all right? They have the two cups up there, they're holding them up and they're saluting each other because they feel inspired to be able to work with you and you work with them. So there's reciprocity here, Taurus. The Two of Cups is about a very important partnership coming into your world that's going to help you grow, evolve and advance. So really, really neat. Let's take a look and clarify the Two of Cups. Okay, two of cups, please. Now, this is interesting. Now, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate with everyone. There could be a company pet, or this could be, I'm, I'm specifically seeing a golden retriever, but it could be a golden or red uh, animal showing up. Now, it could be a pet at the workplace, which you don't see very often, or it could be that some of you work from home and you're walking or taking care of your pets while you work from home. So again, please take that as it resonates. I mean, it could also be symbolic. Dogs represent loyalty. So it could be that this partnership, I mean, maybe this person has a dog and you talk to them about your their pet uh, or you see them out and about with their pet. But I do feel like this is a very loyal, uh, very happy partnership coming in for you. There's that Hierophant. Beautiful. So we're seeing now the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, let's hope that your outcome position is that sun because that would be a beautiful synchronizing energy saying that all of these things are falling into place for you in the month of June. Now, this Hierophant is about you taking a look at those beliefs and knowing that you are worthy of choosing the beliefs that are going to bring in more freedom, more abundance, and knowing that you are worthy of them, okay? Because this Hierophant at times can be about questioning. Does this belief system still work for me? Uh, do I need to upgrade? Can I do something uh, traditionally or do I need to break off and, and go my own way? And I feel like a lot of you are, you're taking a non-traditional approach 
to a new contract is kind of what I feel here for you. So there's more flexibility and more freedom. You may have been in a very straight and narrow type of energy in the past. Maybe you had to punch in a time clock. You couldn't be two minutes late. It was almost like factory work type of, I mean, maybe you don't work in a factory, but that's the kind of routine or the stress that I feel. And now you have flexibility and freedom. Uh, and it, it doesn't mean that you're working less, which you certainly could be working smarter, not harder. But I do feel like you're able to work as you please and you're able to have more flexibility and more freedom. And there could be paid time off as well or there could be something with you being able to travel or work from anywhere. So I love that this higher font is showing up. This could also be a long-term position. It could be something that you do now or you partner up with now that is going to bring you into retirement and some. So higher font energy showing up strong. Now, how are you feeling? What is your energy saying at this time? Ace of Cups. I mean, you got it going on, Taurus. The Ace of Cups is all about a new creative job. It's about feeling a sense of fulfillment. Take a look at that koi fish there right at the end of that cup. Koi fish represent longevity, long-term growth. They live forever, I believe, and they're, they're all about prosperity. Uh, in, I believe, Feng Shui, if you even, I mean, this pet, this company pet, it could be koi fish or there could be a koi fish pond near your company or maybe this is symbolic as well for unlimited potential and prosperity showing up. I mean, remember this rainbow at the very beginning with the nine of cups? Look at that. There's a rainbow right above that ace of cups. I mean, you have powerful energy showing up here this month for you. So you're definitely getting a new position or a new job or a promotion. I mean, you have four different, five different cards that represent new beginnings here. And you have double ace of cup, wheel of fortune. I mean, wow, this is powerful energy for you. And you're ready to feel fulfilled. You're ready to head towards this new path where you feel like you have passion and you have purpose and that you're able to finally fill your cup. So let's clarify and get more. I feel like we could just end your reading here, Taurus, with saying, yes, it's going to be an awesome month and career for you. But let's take a look and clarify the Ace of Cups and keep on going. Keep on keeping here. What do we have for Taurus? Nine of Materials, Nine of Pentacles. I love the Nine of Pentacles because she's all about personal, individual uh, achievement, career satisfaction. She doesn't have to rely on anyone else. Now, it doesn't mean that you don't have, you know, clients and people and, uh, you know, help. That's not what this means, but it means that you're not afraid to take that leap and make individual choices that are going to better you moving forward. She's all about creating a life that she loves and that she's proud of. She's all about material wealth and achievement and success. She's going for it here. And you see that the roses are coming in and it's just the, the, the rose. There's no thorns. You've already went through the thorns here. So I feel like there's sweet success that's awaiting and you're ready to step into this sweet success. So very powerful. I'm loving this. I mean, some of you may even work with... Um, with gardens, you may get your hands dirty. There could be something with planting, a greenery, a greenhouse. Uh, this can be flower e essence oil, essential oils, and flower bock remedy oils, things of that nature with this card showing up. Uh, I'm also sensing someone may have pressed a flower or you may come across a pressed flower in the month of June. So pay attention to the pressed flowers. Beautiful. All right. Now, this is what we were talking about earlier, the position of your environment, because remember we talked about this nine of cups and the seven of wands showing up, and it can be at times other people uh, trying to rain on your parade. Let's see what's showing up in your environment. Three of wands. This is a really wonderful energy. This is all about your efforts bearing fruit, uh, your, you know, your rose finally growing to full blossom where you can smell that sweet success here. This is others coming in to help and commitments, celebrations with this three of wands. You finally taken that leap here to open your, your horizon. 
You've been waiting for a while to take that leap of faith, to finally get yourself out of a situation so you can grow and advance and move, and now it's here. The Three of Wands is about not taking your eye off the prize, okay? This is about you staying optimistic, staying patient, because your hard work is paying off, and there is a return on your investment. So I like this, and it's not necessarily you know, uh, energy coming at you. I mean, you have the seven of wands and the three of wands. So I feel that this could also mean that you are standing your ground when it comes to your dreams, your long-term dreams as well. And you're pushing through and you're seeing that you finally crack something open here. And I feel that what you've cracked open is this wish, this wish fulfillment. With the wheel of fortune, you've brought something into motion and that wheel is gonna spin and you may take off quite quickly as well. So this could be a business idea that you have if you're an entrepreneur or business owner, or if you do get a new promotion or work for someone else, uh, you may get a large increase, a large raise. There could be some big benefits that come along with it because the queen of wands showing up here. So this could be you. We're clarifying now the three of wands. This I feel is your energy, but it certainly could be someone else coming in, especially if you do work for a, you know, a, a different company. But this queen of wands, queen of inspiration, she is powerful. She is bold. She is the epitome here of strength. When she walks into a room, she lights it up. She is an excellent, excellent multitasker. She can get things done. She's very social. She can win, uh, you know, any sort of any sort of uh, hearts, right? She can win the hearts of others. She could sell ice to an Eskimo, right? She could sell anything that she feels passionate and desires. And I feel like you have all of these traits and you're reinventing yourself, Taurus, from the inside out. And when this queen of wands shows up, she inspires others to live their best lives, right? And you are coming into partnership with other people who believe in you. And this allows you to unleash something within yourself that you may have forgot about and to allow you to believe in yourself fully as well. So I love this showing up. This is great. All right. What are your hopes and fears? Because the hopes and fears can push you into how you are able to manifest. Let's take a look at these hopes and fears. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. I don't mind seeing this in the hopes and fears position because it's not something you are actually manifesting, but spirit wants you to be aware of that negative mindset, pessimism, and lack of scarcity, right? It could be that you are working on trimming down your lifestyle for a while, spending what's within your spending allotment, right? Not maxing out credit cards, not spending what you do not have. Maybe you're paying cash for more things, but the fear here is what if I am left out? What if I am you know, on the sidelines watching everybody else succeed, but I'm not. That's just a fear of yours. And it's a deep, deep fear based on the past, which three of swords, I mean, anyone would fear this. However, with the Hierophant, you are upgrading your beliefs. You're telling yourself a new mental story. Instead of the old story of loss, disappointment, and challenges when it comes to money, you are uh, re reinventing your relationship with abundance, with money, with prosperity. And this five of pentacles is about giving, 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 but not always receiving in return. And the hope here is that you'll be able to come into alignment, which you are, you have the two of cups, you have the wheel of fortune, you have these beautiful energies here saying that you're coming into alignment with, with success, with abundance. Be sure to believe in it because I am getting this big energy of belief, you can see here that that light is shining from the church right behind her and it is bright and she doesn't see it because her back is turned and it's right there ready for her to embrace. The abundance is all around. That's that missing spoon that we were talking about in the cutlery card here. So you having the resources available to you, but we must be open, <clears throat> excuse me, we must be open and have that awareness to be able to see that they're right there. And I feel like you do. You've come a long way. You've grown. You've matured. You've evolved. You've been through enough to know how to see what it is that you do not want, right? So use this hope. Uh, use this fear 
to be the motivating factor for you to keep going, right, with the seven of wands. And I don't mean move forward in a fear-based energy. You've already lived through it. Tell yourself a new story. So use this uh, past experience as to what's been working for you, what you no longer want, so you can shift that vibration and that energy towards what you do want. We're going to take a look and clarify the Five of Pentacles here as your hope and fear. What else do we need to know about the Five of Pentacles? You're just trying to come back. You're just trying to not just survive, but live a life that's more abundant, more fruitful. Yeah, to climb to the top, the Emperor energy. And this is the feminine version of the Emperor here. I love this. Uh, because the creator created a female and male version of all of the kings, including the emperor. And this is about you being receptive, but taking action. So this is that yin yang energy with that peace sign that we see here in the wheel of fortune. So not only are you going to climb to the top Taurus, I feel like you are succeeding and you're receptive. So there's that equal give and take as well. Powerful. You are a leader, you're taking action, but sometimes it's hard to see your leadership or it's hard to step into that power, but you have everything you need to create a life of abundance. So really beautiful. Now the final outcome. What is the final outcome for career for Taurus, June, 2023? I mean, you already have the best cards out here. So regardless of the outcome, you're moving forward. So let's take a look and see what's the outcome. There it is, the star. Okay, what did we say in the beginning? We said the sun, well, close enough here. The star is a big yes. It's about improved wealth and recognition. The star is making a comeback. You know, as one of my favorite quotes, the comeback is stronger than the setback. And when you have the star here, this is about having hope for the future. This is about you being able to redirect your energy towards a more fulfilling life. And the star is a major arcana here. So it's big showing up as your final outcome. And you're going to see here that you finally have faith again. You finally have this renewed sense of hope that maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe you felt like you've lost along the way. The star shows up to bring healing, guidance, positivity, and says, don't give up. You are an inspiration. And as I say this, my throat chakra, <clears throat> excuse me, is being activated. So I do feel for a lot of you, you may be speakers, or this could also be symbolic for speaking your own world into being. What is it that you want? Use your throat. Uh, ask. Use your creativity. Some of you, it could be doing something that has to do with communication as well or communications. Very powerful energy. And you can see in the background, it's almost like there's that tree of life back there and there is a reflection happening. So you're able to see and reflect on what's worked in the past and what hasn't, but you can also see that it is indeed a reflection and you don't have to repeat the same story of the past, right? Because there's a stork here and I feel like there's good news being delivered to you. Follow your true north is what I just heard. Follow your true north. There's definitely an improvement when it comes to wealth and you are being recognized for a job well done. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Let's take a look and clarify that star. What's going on with the star card as the final outcome? Spirit, please clarify the star for Taurus. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. You can't make that up. They just said, look at the top one and look at what it is. The sun. All three energies came in hot for you. Hierophant, Sun, and Wheel of Fortune. I mean, you're going to see the synchronicities showing up in the month of June, left and right. So that star is your, your navigating light. So really beautiful. I'm so grateful that that came through for you. Now let's get a message from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And I will read the prosperity message from the guidebook. And now my throat is clearing up. So for a lot of you, you weren't able to express what you needed, what you wanted. You weren't able to feel that there was positive communication or communication in general. And I feel like this is something that's showing up very, very beautifully for you this month. I mean, the sun is about happiness. It is about abundance and success. So you're going to reap the rewards of your hard work this month. Really great. I'm excited for a lot of you, Tori. I'd love for you to save the video in your watch later tab. Come back at the end of June. Let me know what went down for you because a lot of you, this is a big, powerful month. 
You have the 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune. The 10 card is about Unfinished Symphony as well. I mean, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So you are improving, but there's still some loose ends that you're tying up, right? This is about you starting to get those things into motion. So if there's something you need to speak up and say, it's time to do it. If there's some loose ends that you need to tie up with the company or with the bank or with the person, this is the time to do it. So you can close the chapter on the past and move forward fully and entirely into the present energy. So let's take a look and see what this card is all about for you. And I flipped right to the page too. This is all about uh, making amends, especially when lessons feel incomplete or we have that lack of closure. I feel like this is what you are gaining this month. Make sure you complete projects now before starting new ones. Perhaps you've created something special that will increase your sense of abundance and bring you opportunities for wealth. However, if you don't see it through, it won't add up to anything but more clutter. Now is the time to put your nose to the grindstone and complete the tasks that have accumulated. Pay your bills, sign the documents, do your filing, hand in an assignment, complete a work of art. Tie up loose ends so you can move forward with surety, knowing you are on the prosperous path and feeling refreshed and excited about the future. I love this for you. This makes complete sense. And again, it is card 10, which you have in your mind and your head space. So if there's anything that you are wanting to wrap up, if there's things that need to be done this month, get them done because you have a whole energetic shift happening for you. So it's time for that wheel to spin in your favor. I'm loving this. Let's get a few messages from your spirit animals. Now at this time, Taurus, if you can, please just close your eyes for a moment. Take in a deep breath from the solar plexus chakra, the belly area. And tune into that third eye center. That's the area between your eyebrows. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky or an animal that swims deep in the sea. It could be an animal that is wild, magical, mystical, or even domesticated. It could be an animal that's recently crossed your path in the great outdoors, or one that's crossed over the rainbow bridge. There is no right or wrong answer, Taurus. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment box below and I personally will enter you into that free reading giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button if you haven't already. All right, let's get to your power animal messages. You have three winged creatures and one skunk. And the skunk says, know your worth. I'm also getting that some of you in the month of June, or maybe you've recently come across, you may smell a skunk or may, maybe smell something skunky. That's going to be a reminder to know your worth. Okay, it's card 54. Now we have card 54, 66, 63, and 32. Those could be be your ages. Uh, that could be a very significant number for you. Please take it as it resonates. But Skunk Spirit says know your worth, which we've talked about that here as well. We also have the Raven Spirit. It says trust in the magic because there's magic all around card six six here and this is a really powerful energy here because it does bring about magic and that wheel is spinning in your favor here. And I feel like there is a message coming in for you. There is a message coming in that's going to uh, bring in more abundance. It could be maybe you've been waiting for the email, waiting for that call, Taurus. This is a really great energy. Trust in the magic that life has to offer. 
because vulture spirit says nothing is wasted. Even this three of swords energy of the past, nothing is wasted because look at those two people. They are back to back, backs turned. Yes, there's been a situation in the past that wasn't the best, but look what's coming in in the near future. They're facing each other. So know that nothing is wasted. We go through the ups and downs, the ebbs and flow. That's part of this dual earth, right? And I feel like you have a lot of skills and a lot of talents here that are being utilized and people are recognizing you. Now you have hawk spirit. Let spirit be your guide. Yeah, we talked about that. Your inner uh, true north, right? Your higher self and connecting to your higher source. Letting spirit divinely uh, guide you and move you forward. Card 32. You've definitely gone through challenges, I see. There's been change. There's been conflict. There's been obstacles. But you're on the road and pathing the, uh, paving the road forward towards success. Paving the road forward towards success is what I just he heard here. Beautiful energy. All right, Taurus, last but not least, let's take a look at which crystal, gemstone, mineral, or fossil you can utilize in the month of June to help you towards your path of abundance. All right, we have... Oh, you have two cards that came. Well, you had a bunch of cards, but we're only going to get a couple here. Uh, you have pyrite which is a powerful energy of fool's gold. And this can be about, you know, all shiny things, but it's also about not chasing after just, uh, you know, the get rich quick or having that energy of, I need to have this done now. This is long-term growth. And the card that's really high, being highlighted here, because there's a lot of stars around it and because the star is showing up as your final card, we're gonna tune into the energy here of bronzite. We have pyrite and bronzite beautiful energies. Now you can meditate with these crystals. You can certainly do your own research and purchase them somewhere if you would like as well, or just, uh, just tune into the vibration that bronzite brings in here. So what do we have for Taurus? This is about loyalty, trust, steadfastness, self-respect, and trusting that the universe has your back. Your true heart is recognized by the universe who wants only the best for you. As much as you want to trust in others, of course, it's important to be mindful of others who you sense do not deserve your trust. And that could be why you feel like you have your walls up here with the seven of wands. Cautiously and mindfully venture to lend your loyalty again anyway, knowing that you are where you are meant to be and you have the universe as your ally to send you signs when a situation or individual warrants your caution. You can release your fears of being affected by the negativity of others. Be steadfast in your convictions as you work with others to build and maintain a firm financial foundation for yourself. You are stronger and wiser than you once were and now you can trust yourself to know when you must make a change, take action, or speak the truth. Let go of your self-doubt, for Bronzite Spirit is telling you that you can be trusted to know what you need to do to make good decisions regarding your finances. Beautiful energy here. I'm loving this. It's also card 13. That's that death energy of, you know, not resisting what's showing up, but going with the flow. I feel like you can expect more ease, more clarity, and definitely more abundance, Taurus, in the upcoming months starting with June. I hope this resonates with you, beautiful souls. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly does help get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. And please feel free to drop your power animals in the comment box below to be entered into that free reading giveaway. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe and bell button, feel free to do so. Thank you so much for tuning in, Taurus, and being here. Lots of light.